what's going on youtube welcome back to another brand new video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize black myth wukong and get better performance better fps fix your lag stutter frame drops and get better visibility and so much more in the game make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said let's get started All right, so let's move with the step number one that is the essential windows settings and for that open up settings on your pc and then head over to gaming go over to game bar and turn this thing off game bar turned off will give you better fps as this consumes a lot of cpu usage in the background head back to gaming go over to game mode and turn this thing on i have tested this multiple times and game mode turned on will definitely give you better fps as it turns off unwanted things and services in the background also you have to look for storage over here so simply search for storage settings scroll a bit down until you find storage sense simply enable this head on this and then click on keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system and app files this is really important because these are the cache files that has to be cleared every other day to ensure that you are getting maximum performance on your pc however this performance impact is really really low but it actually adds up to your actual performance click on user automated content cleanup and then run storage sense every single day delete file in my recycle bin every 14 days and then in my download folders should be set to never once that is done click on run storage sense now and let it do the job step number two is the compatibility settings and for that open up steam on your pc select your game right click on that and then head over to manage click on browse local files then you'll find b1.exe right click on it head over to properties and then go to compatibility settings click on disable full screen optimizations click on change high dpi settings and then select this option click on ok and then apply you have to do the same thing head over to b1 binaries win64 and you'll find the win64 shipping.exe right click on that head over to properties go to compatibility disable full screen optimization click on change high dpi settings select this option ok and then apply step number three is creating a restore point and for that search for create a restore point on your pc and then over here select your local disk c click on create and name it wukong so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this tab if you want to restore all of your system settings back to normal without any data loss once that is done, click on close and then close system properties. Next step is the Black Myth Wukong FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply download it from there or join my Discord server to get a detailed downloading tutorial. In here, you'll find in five simple folders. The first one is a CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. If you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority to optimize your AMD CPU. And if you have an Intel CPU priority, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. It basically sets your affinity, background only, clock rate, SFIO priority, GPU priority and so much more according to your CPU. Second folder is the most important one that is the Black Myth Wukong Priority. Open it up and you'll find in Wukong three priority sets over here. The normal priority one is the default priority. According to your PC, you can run above normal or high priority. So you can leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list. Third folder is the RAM optimization and once again, I use 32GB RAM so I need to use the 32GB RAM registry. It could be different for you so you can select any registry from this list if you have it on your PC and if you're unaware of your RAM, you can simply search for system information and then look for your installed physical memory right over here. Once again, if you don't like it, you can always reset it back to default. Fourth folder is the programs folder in which I have left two simple programs. You'll find the cache cleaner and the MSI mode utility 3.0. You can double click and run the cache cleaner or you can right click and run this as an administrator. It will start cleaning up all of the cache files on your PC and this is completely safe. These are just the temporary files that the program creates and you don't need it anymore. Once that is done, it will automatically close. Next is the MSI mode utility 3.0. Right click and run this as administrator. Over here, locate your graphic card and then click on the MSI button in front of it and the interrupt priority should be set to high. Click on apply and this will set your GPU affinity to a higher state, preferable for the game. Last is the unwanted services folder in which I have left a ton of services that you do not really use. Simply double click and run all of them. If you use your Bluetooth, do not disable your Bluetooth, but you can disable every single one of them. The main one is the core parking. You don't want this enabled. Simply disable every single one of them. And if you want anything turned on again, you can revert them back using these settings. You can simply double click and start disabling everything. 
It will give you this warning, simply select yes and it will start adding the values on your registries. If you want to know more, you can right click and open this thing with notepad and you can see all of the changes that it does to your PC. Next step is the config settings and for that press windows and R key together on your PC and then search for app data. Click on enter, head over to local and then search for B1 right over here. Simply open it up, head over to saved, go to config, windows and you'll find in a game user settings.ini. Right click on that, go to options and then head over to notepad. Once this opens up, here are the few changes that you have to do in this list. First is the B use vsync, simply set this thing to false. For full screen mode, select one over here because you don't have an option to set your full screen. Make sure that your audio quality level is set to zero. Anything other than that will give you drastic FPS issues. Scroll down and you'll find scalability groups. Now over here your resolution quality should be 66.67 but you can also take it up to 70% but it will automatically set to 66 because of DLSS. View distance quality should be set to 2, anti-aliasing quality should be set to 3, shadow quality should be set to 0, global illumination quality should be set to 0, ray tracing quality should also be set to 0, reflection quality should be set to 0, post processing quality should be set to 1. Textures quality 1, effects quality 1, foliage quality 1, shading quality 1. Once you're done with that, press Ctrl and S together and then close your game user settings. Right click on this file, head over to properties and then select read only so the game does not override your settings when it opens up. Click on apply and then close it. Next step is disabling sysmain and this will also help you to gain extra 5% of FPS. Press Windows and R key together and then type in services.msc. Once it opens up, search for S and then you'll find sysmain in this list. Right click on that, head over to properties and then make sure that the startup type should be set to disabled and if this service is already running, you can click on stop and stop this service. Next step is deanimating windows and for that search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then click on adjust for best performance. Click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts and then show window contents while dragging. This will make sure that you maintain the basic look of your windows and disable all unnecessary animations that consumes your CPU usage. This might not add a lot of FPS, but it can add a few FPS. So again, this is really useful. Next step is right in the advanced settings over here that is virtual memory. Click on change and then deselect automatically manage paging file size. Select your local disk C and set your custom size. The initial size should be set to 1361 as it is a little bit over 1 GB and it is really essential for setting everything ahead of it. The maximum size should be half of your total physical memory in megabytes. So for that I have 32 GB RAM so I have to use a calculator, multiply 32 with 1024 and this will give me my memory in megabytes. Simply divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to use in the maximum size. Click on set, click on ok and then click on apply. This is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Next step is boot configuration and for that search for system configuration. Head over to the boot settings, click on advanced option and then select number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available over here. Click on ok, click on apply, head over to services, click on hide all microsoft service and then deselect all unwanted services over here such as adobe update service, fan control service, rgb service, browser update service, printer service and whatnot. Just make sure you know what you're disabling and do not disable anti-cheat services such as vgc because it is really essential to boot up your games if you turn this thing off there might be booting issues in the game once that is done click on ok and then close it next step is moving in the game and looking at the game settings and if you have already set your config settings you cannot update your game settings but there are a few changes that you can do so follow the in-game settings all right so when you're in your game press your escape key and then head over to settings Go down to settings and then go over to display. First thing is that you'll find your display mode, set it to borderless. Frame rate cap should be turned off and vsync should also be turned off. Motion blur should also be turned off and the camera shake should be set to zero. Then head over to graphics and then go down to super resolution and set it all the way to 100%. 
Super resolution sampling should be FSR, frame generation should be turned on, full ray tracing should be turned off, and then the graphic preset should set to be low. And once that is done, press on Y, click on confirm, and this will give you the best FPS available in the game. As you guys can see right now, I'm getting over 100 FPS in the game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.